Hello and welcome to Blender Bite Size. In this video, I'll be showing you how to make this material procedurally in Blender. Feeling lazy? You can support this channel and skip the hard work by grabbing the blend file for this material from Gumroad for just a pound. Feeling flush? Feel free to throw some of that coin my way using the coffee link in the description below the video. Okay, let's get this started. So I've added an object. I'm in the shading tab with viewport shading enabled and I've added a basic principled BSDF. I'll press Shift A to search for a diffuse BSDF. Select that and plonk it in anywhere. Then I'm going to search for, uh, no I'm not, I'm going to change the roughness to 0 0.001. Then I'm going to search for a glossy BSDF. Change the roughness on that to 0.1. Next, I'll search for a mix shader to combine those two. And I'll plug the diffuse into the top shader and the glossy into the bottom shader. Now I press Shift D while I've got the glossy selected and duplicate that and then repeat that for the mix shader. I'm going to plug the mix shader into the top shader of the mix shader and then the glossy into the bottom. And the shader, I'm actually going to plug directly into material output and get rid of the principled shader. Then I'm gonna add a Fresnel node and plug the factor from that into the last shader before the material output. Then I can change the color by adjusting the hue and saturation. And that looks good already, but I'm going to change the middle mix shader a bit next, just to adjust, adjust that glossiness. So I'll adjust that to 0 0.05. It's now got a much more plasticky feel. Could even be used for balloons. So you'll render that out with whatever samples your computer can take. Mine, uh, I've done at a thousand. Looks good, but could probably do with some more anyway. Anyway, that's it for this one. Thanks for watching. Please remember to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Bye for now.